What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today we're gonna go over all of the controls, inputs, and outputs for your Rock Shaker 10. So of course we have the power switch to turn on or turn off the subwoofer. And at the very top we have the power LED, which will let you know that the sub is powered on and working. Below that we have the volume knob to control the overall volume coming out of the sub. And then we have the frequency knob, which acts as a low pass filter, which basically means it's gonna control the frequency range that's coming out of the sub. So for example, if I set this knob to 100 hertz, everything from 100 hertz and below will be the frequency range that comes out of the sub, and we won't be hearing anything above that 100 hertz. Next to that, we have the RCA line input and output section. So we can use the RCA line input to connect from receivers, like a home theater setup, a mixer, etc. And then we can use the RCA output to expand our setup even further to additional speakers or more subwoofers. Next to that, we have the high level input section so we can receive signal from different sources through speaker wire. And then below that, we have the high level output so we can send signal from the subwoofer out to a different source through speaker wire. We also have a phase switch to switch the polarity of the sub between zero degrees and 180 degrees. And we can use this to sync up the sub to the rest of the speakers in our setup. So for example, if you're listening to music and you're hearing that the kick drum sounds like it's going in instead of pushing out, you can try using this face switch to line that up to the rest of the speakers in your setup. And lastly, we have the auto switch, which is really cool. If we set this all the way to on, this means that the subwoofer will automatically go to sleep when it's not receiving signal from anything like your receiver or receiving any music in general. If you didn't wanna use this feature, you can just set it to the auto mode so you can use the power switch to turn the sub on or off. And if you set this all the way to the left on off mode, the subwoofer will stay powered off no matter if you have the power switch turned on or not. So hopefully this showed you guys all of the controls, inputs, and outputs for your Rock Shaker 10. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.